Any classroom in a school is likely to have a flat, rectangular map of the entire world strewn across the wall. Children had learned when they were young that this projection represents Earth. But does this flat map accurately depict the world we live in? Have you ever attempted to smash a ball onto a flat surface? Hello, and welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll discuss the world map is wrong and fake. And there are some of the most common geographic misconceptions that are both surprising and surprisingly hard to correct. So let's get started with the video. Most of us utilize a mental map of the world whenever we think about a location. However, these mind maps might not be accurate. Some shockingly vast and challenging to fix. For instance, South America is located south of North America. But you might be astonished to learn that almost the whole continent of South America is located east of Florida. According to cartographer John Nelson, there are many potential causes for geographic misconceptions like this. Mental maps must always be simplified, and Nelson speculates that one reason the Americas are misplaced may be related to their names. After all, Southeast America is not what it is named. Africa is another continent that gets mixed up a lot. In the minds of North Americans, Africa is almost totally in the Southern Hemisphere, just like South America. In actuality though, nearly two-thirds of Africa is located north of the equator. Africa stretches northward to about the same latitude as Norfolk, Virginia. Nelson believes that the climate may influence the misunderstanding. Thanks to the Gulf Stream, which transports warmer water from the Gulf of Mexico across the Atlantic and provides Europe with its so-called Mediterranean climate, Western Europe is relatively warm for its latitude. The higher temperatures are more comparable to the weather in the lower 48 states than in Canada. People frequently keep their mental maps straightforward by lining them up with the four cardinal directions. North Americans find it simpler to think of Europe as being to the east and South America as being to the south. Our mental maps might be inaccurate not only in terms of locations, but also in terms of relative sizes. This might be partly explained by the way two-dimensional maps are designed. Without some distortion, a three-dimensional globe cannot be flattened onto a flat surface. This is particularly clear for maps that employ specific projections, such as the well-known Mercator projection, which was commonly used on classroom walls in the 20th century to depict the curvature of the Earth's surface on a flat map, portraying the curved character of the Earth on a flat map. Such as the well-known Mercator projection could be seen on many classroom walls in the 20th century. The relative size and shape of continents are distorted on Mercator maps, incredibly close to the poles. This explains why, despite South America being more than eight times larger than Greenland, Greenland seems to be around the same size as the entirety of South America on Mercator maps. Other inconsistencies are shocking. However, you may already be aware of Greenland's significant exaggeration on some maps. On many maps, Brazil, for instance, doesn't appear to be all that spectacular. Still, it is larger than the entire contiguous United States and nearly as significant as Canada. Libya is more minor than Alaska, which appears to be a behemoth on Mercator maps. According to Penn State University geography professor Anthony Robinson, thinking about the world in two dimensions also distorts our perceptions of going from one place to another. On a flat map, the most straightforward path from Washington, D.C. to Shanghai, China, looks to go due west across the United States and the Pacific. Robinson, however, claims that he has been on numerous trips to Asia, when passengers have been shocked when the pilot announces that they will be flying over the North Pole. It makes sense if you're looking at a globe rather than a flat map. That is by far the quickest route, according to Robinson. We frequently vastly underestimate the size of nations closer to the poles, and significantly underestimate those closer to the equator. Africa is more extensive than China, India, the contiguous United States, and the majority of Europe on our planet. Recently, Scientific American released an image that accurately depicted how these countries get absorbed by Africa, including Japan. 
The area of Saudi Arabia is also larger than the combined areas of France, Spain, Germany, Poland, and Italy. The most common world map, the Mercator projection distorts the size and shape of land masses close to the pole. As a result, Russia appears to be larger than Africa. Africa can fit almost two Russias. Russia appears to be larger than Africa, when Africa can fit almost two Russias. In actuality, the area of Africa is 11.73 million square miles, compared to merely 6.6 .6 million square miles for Russia. Brazil is 1.2 times as large as Canada. Canada is roughly 9,984,670 square kilometers greater than Brazil, which has an approximate land area of 8,515,770 square kilometers. Meanwhile, 211.7 million people live in Brazil. 174 million fewer people live in Canada. The location of Brazil's outline is close to the center of Canada. Spain is a nation of the Atlantic and Mediterranean coasts of the Iberian Peninsula. The land spans 4,964 kilometers of coastline and 505,935 kilometers squared of land. This land area makes up roughly 73% of Texas's total area. As a result, Spain is one of the biggest nations in Europe and ranks 52nd globally. 81% of the population is in urban areas, which is a very high percentage. France is 499% larger than Portugal in size, with a total area of 551,500 square kilometers compared to Portugal's 92,090 square kilometers. Portugal has a population of 10.3 million people. 57.5 million more people live in France. Portugal's outline has been placed close to the center of France. India is around 13 times larger than the UK. India is roughly 3,287,263 square kilometers greater than the United Kingdom, which has an approximate area of 243,610 square kilometers. Meanwhile, 65.8 million people live in the United Kingdom. 1.3 billion more people live in India. The United Kingdom's outline is situated close to the center of India. Brazil is 10% larger than Australia in the area. 7,741,220 square kilometers compared to the 8,515,770 square kilometers. Meanwhile, 25.5 million people are living in Australia. 186.2 million more people live in Brazil. The contour of Australia is situated close to the center of Brazil. The size of Madagascar is around 1.3 times that of Sweden. Madagascar is only 30% larger than Sweden in area, about 587,041 square kilometers, versus 450,295 square kilometers for Sweden. Meanwhile, 10.2 million people live in Sweden. 16.8 million more people live in Madagascar. The shape of Sweden is situated close to the center of Madagascar. Gerardus Mercator, a cartographer, created the Mercator in 1569. It most likely depicts how you picture the Earth to look, and it was probably hanging in your geography lesson. Meanwhile, it has drawn much criticism for enlarging colonial nations like Europe and North America, while dominating South America and Africa. In an era of alternative facts, the Boston authorities believed that a change in map style was necessary to decolonize the curriculum in public schools and more correctly depict the sizes of countries. For instance, South America is twice the area of Europe and Greenland is significantly smaller than the Mercator map indicates. However, not everyone is happy with the change. Even though some perceive it as a triumph against false news, the Gal Peters map distorts the sizes of the countries while showing their correct sizes. Although the size may be right, the shape is unquestionably incorrect because of how stretched the countries are towards the poles and the equator. The issue is that you cannot fit the Earth's 3D sphere shape into a 2D piece of paper. There will always be a compromise about shape 
size, direction, distance, or scale, regardless of how it is accomplished. An alternative is a good option of the Mercator's extensive use indicates bias. Galpeter's selection, however, has angered map enthusiasts, who claim there are other map types to pick from that aren't quite as awful. On the first day of geography class, it would not be unusual if a student had any of these geographic misconceptions. Nonetheless, even after learning the reality, these mistakes on our mental maps frequently repeat. This might be due in part to the fact that our ideas of the globe are essentially geographical summaries. Similar to the New York City subway map, the mental map is a simplification. Whatever the cause, these mental map mistakes are so common and persistent that even experts make them. Geographers shared the same beliefs about the relative longitude of cities in North America and Europe as the general public, according to the 1985 study of mental world maps. Even cartographers are susceptible. Nelson is occasionally still surprised by South America's eastiness. So that is all the time we have today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time, folks.